Preamble, let Christians know that on this earth there are low and high. We are in the bottom moment. If anyone wants to go to heaven, it is the time to go down. Acts 14 verse 22 Strengthening the minds of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and saying that through much tribulation we must enter the kingdom of God. Romans 8 verse 37 to 39 But in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God manifested in Christ Jesus our Lord. Daniel 3 verse 16 to 28 Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to King Nebuchadnezzar, We don't need to answer you about this. Behold, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. If not, no, O king, that we will not serve your gods, nor worship the golden image which you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was filled with fury, and his face was changed, and he turned his eyes against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then he spoke again and commanded to heat the furnace seven times more than it should be heated. Then he commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to throw them into the fiery furnace. These men were bound with their breeches, tunics, cloaks, and other clothing, and thrown into the middle of the fiery furnace. And because the king's commandment was severe, and the furnace was exceedingly hot, the flame killed the men who had cast Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into it. And those three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound in the midst of the fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was afraid, and rose up in haste. And he answered and said to his counselors, Did we not throw three bound men into the fire? And they said to the king, Surely, O king. And he answered and said, Well, I see four men without bonds, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the face of the fourth is like the face of a son of the gods. Then Nebuchadnezzar came to the entrance of the fiery furnace, and spoke, saying, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the supreme God, come out and come. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the midst of the fire. And the satraps, and the captains, and the governors, and the king's counselors, were gathered together, and saw that the fire had no power over the bodies of these men, nor that the hair of their heads was burned, nor that their bridges were damaged, nor that the smell of the fire was upon them. Then Nebuchadnezzar answered, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him, and who violated the king's command and gave up their bodies rather than serve and worship any other god but their god. Matthew 10 verse 39 Whoever keeps his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew 5 verse 37 Let your word be yes, yes, no, no, what is added to it is of the evil one. The Lord Jesus bless you, the Father of the nations, the Apostle Gabriel. Shalom Shalom